we have a three-dimensional solid here and it's a cone. Look right here at the base and look across. You have what is the maximum possible radius of this cone. Take it upwards and you have your maximum height of this cone. But at different points from the base to the apex, you can generate different radii which will lead to different slices and cross-sectional areas of those slices. How can we determine the radius at different points along this cone? You can. If you look here from the apex and you go down to certain x units, at that particular point you look at a radius, that radius will differ based on how far down you've gone down because you know your cone is broad at the base and it converges towards the apex. Everything is broad here and everything converges and becomes narrow towards the tip or the apex. Obviously the radii and the slices are smaller at the top. You have a ratio which develops maximum height divided by maximum radius is equal to a partial height divided by the radius at that height and you solve for this. Your radius at a particular point x is equal to xr over h. You know the area of the slice at that given radius is going to be this squared times pi, pi r square. You'll have a pi x square r square over h square. Now this is what you would integrate in terms of your cross-sectional slices from a lower limit to upper limit to get a volume. You have a volume is equal to the pi pushed out. But you might as well push out the r square and the h square because they're constants as well. From your base to your apex of your cone, x square dx. You're integrating this. What do you have? It's not hard. It's just polynomials. You have a x cube over 3. Upper limit over here is going to be h lower limit 0, which you don't even need to put. When you compute this, you have a pi r square over h square times h cube over 3. When you clean this out, the volume formula comes out you have a 1 over 3 pi r squared h and that's what we see for a cone 1 over 3 pi r squared h this right is just one way of doing it you can do everything using coordinate geometry but this is just one way and it's a good way